Yeah, thanks, thanks for joining us. Thanks for your questions on, on the socials. We like them and, and we try as hard as we can to answer them. And yeah, these guys, they, I say these guys, Makaya and, and, and Neil having their argument there, Henry, or, yeah, kind of mediator. In, trying to mediate. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. That's okay. Um, let's go with the question and what you have for us today. And I think it's interesting. The, question will also be whether these three guys think it's it's interesting how do players approach an in-between challenge like a 29 over match and I suppose they're both they're two sides to that right it, it's not an ODI and it's not a T20 it's weirdly bigger and at the same time smaller than any sort of normal game of cricket and when I say two sides guys I mean there's there's a <laughs> bowling aspect which yeah, Six, you can go to five for the bowlers, but, mentally, yeah. but how do you yeah. look at it mentally? Now, if I look at it from yeah, from the bowler's point of view, it's it's a matter of uh, awareness. Mm -hmm. If you are ready and and being able to switch on and switch off, this is the kind of thing that happens when it rains, mm. you know. But if you know you're not ready, you were sleeping mm. most, of, most of the time, <laughs> you know. Uh, it it takes time for you to adjust, you know, from the uh, wicket point of view. But if you have the system for both of the, the, the bowlers or, or someone who's a captain mm. who can be able to adjust very quickly and being able to understand the length that should be bowled. You know, I, I think it's, it becomes easier. Mm. Batters? I would say it's a very nice T20 game. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, though. You've got, <laughs> you've got two power plays. You've got yeah. two, there were six and six, I think. Oh, yeah? So, but we spoke about it earlier as well. It's the same thing as obviously getting yourself in, giving yourself an opportunity to make use of those two slots of power plays. Um, it's closer to a T20 game than a 50 over game. Um, 29 overs, yeah, it's a very nice T20 game. That I think you've got to look at the conditions first of all. You know you're going to get a power play up front. Um, in England, does the ball do, mm. do, do a bit? Do you have to go harder up front? So it's all those same questions. It's yeah. just a different, it doesn't matter how many overs are. You've got that power play, you might have to say, okay, we're going to look after the play, power play, or we're going to take on that power play. So it's all about conditions. Yeah. I, I don't worry about the overs. Mm. It's about conditions, what you're chasing. Um, and, you know, T20 cricket has highlighted what is chaseable. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, if you conserving your wickets for the back end, and we know we've played in games there where that's the style more in England where it nips around a little bit. You can't be two, three down early like they yeah. were because mm. you're, you're dead in the water. So it's, guys, listen, strategy will be look after that, uh, that first couple of overs there. If there's something on offer, take it. And be a little bit conservative because we've got some power hitters at the back end and this game's only going to get easier yeah. on those conditions. So it's all to strategy and, and, you know, play the conditions. Yeah, many times you'd probably say a team feels they're not going to get bowled out. They should get to the game, right? Like, and so they play more shots. And guess what? They do get bowled out. out. <laughs> <laughs> Has happened. Okay, there's a second question. That's not all. They're not letting us go easy this time. You guys want to know a whole lot. And... Seeing as we've got these experts in here, yeah, let, yeah let, let's get some, some answers. Now that South Africa will need to qualify, and so um, whoever's asking this has jumped ahead, has decided, <laughs> yeah. you know, whatever those ODIs, whatever happens in those ODIs, South Africa will need to qualify. I'll give you that it's the most likely scenario. So, can you pinpoint a couple of areas that would explain why, if that's what you think, Mm. The pro tiers men's ODI performances and results are worlds apart from the T20 and test results. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I like that. I like the That's question. Heavy. That's it is a, interesting. Like, if you look at the last year, I think the first of the year, uh, cooking season basically, mm. I think we struggled. I think the last quarter to half, I think we were very good in, in the one day format. Um, when India was here, uh, Bangladesh, we lost the thing against Bangladesh, but the way we played. In Pakistan. I know the results, obviously, but I think too. the way we started playing the last half, I think there's a lot of positivity that you can take out of it going forward. Like, I know the person asking the question jumped very, very, it's a big jump at, um, but like, you, you, to the back of your head, we might not, or we might have to go qualify, um, but that's a long road. So I think we're in a good space when it comes to 50 over cricket, the way we play, the type of cricket that we play. And so I'm fairly comfortable um, that we'll get to the World Cup irrespective of what happens, like with the three one-day games, or even if we need to qualify as well. I know there's going to be tough opposition, but I see this extra preparation if we need to qualify. 
<laughs> I'm asking nothing else. It's up to you guys. Yeah, carry on. No, I, I, I did mention this to you. Mm. I mean, if you, if you look at the other three strong teams that yeah. I had to qualify, Sri Lanka, New Zealand, and New Zealand, mm. and then we were the third strong one. You need two. Mm. <laughs> ideal, ideal preparation for a World Cup. <laughs> no, no, what I'm trying to say that as well, we need to pull our socks. Mm -hmm. We can't just walk in there and thinking that we're going to just qualify. play and qualify. Mm -hmm. No. We need to play those two strong teams. They need to qualify as we well. We might not even have to get there. That's the other thing as well. Uh, listen, I, I, I see that, I see that, I see that, uh, that question. I look for the opportunities. Mm -hmm. you know? And I think uh, you know, we've got a good top six. I think it's a settled top six. Uh, the captain comes back, Temba Vuma, when he's, when he's uh, fit and available. Um, I think there's a blueprint how they want to play. And, you know, those results, uh, you know, I sort of block them out. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that's a side that can win the World Cup. Okay. Yeah, hold on, hold on, and, man. And <laughs> I'm, not saying, I'm not saying qualify for the World Cup. Because if we have to qualify, we'll go and qualify. Okay. I'm saying I look at the personnel there. You look at those top sixes. You look at those averages. That tells you, you know. Uh, when I was at uh, um, Bangladesh, the, the, the chief exec would come and say, well, listen, are we going to get 350 plus here? And I had to show him, like, the young side. Well, this guy averages 30, he averages 30, he averages 29, he averages 40, mm. he averages 30. So you want us to get 350 plus, that's the, for the top six. The averages, if you add them up, they don't come close to 350. <laughs> so how are you going to get 350 consistently? Yeah. <laughs> that, that top six, you look at the averages and you say, okay, 73, 43. Now you add those up. Uh -huh. you, they you, get to 300. You're getting close to that 300 yeah. mark. And with our bowling resources. I was going to say, Mackie. I think it's just choosing. And I, I think we get into a situation there where we, we, we haven't had a good start. Mm. Yeah. But we started to play some decent cricket. And we've got personnel four different conditions. We're okay. carrying two spinners. We've got a left arm quick. We've got uh, uh, Lingidi, slightly uh, stickier wick, I mean, a uh, uh, skiddier wicket, slightly wider the mm. stumps. We've got guys that cover. We've got two guys that bowl 140 plus. Uh, so we've yeah. got it all covered. It's just about putting it together. Yes. So I might have deviated from that question. But <laughs> I think you're answering it. Yeah. You're answering it. You're going well. You're going to well. Get there. The you're opportunity well. is in that squad. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I, I don't think we're going to win a lot more than we're going to lose. Yes. Yeah. So are you saying 100%. that it, it, it depends who grabs it? No. It, well, is it? no, it depends how you use your tools, I think is yes. what yeah, he's yeah. saying. And, 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 when you're and, talking about the opportunities as well, yeah. because you've got a lot of players as well, so, yeah, I guess, outside yes. the group, mm. that you are killing them. Mm. You know, so if you get an opportunity to play, it's good then how you grab that opportunity. Fair enough. Fair enough. And in answer to the question, the reason for having been far apart from 2020s and tests um, is perhaps instability. Can we, can we use that as a reason? And now there is a kind of more stable scenario and this personnel you can use, can, can we cap that? Can we say that's it? I'm with you, I'm with you, done. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what are you chasing? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're getting into the nitty gritty of how it's going to work. And, and, you know, uh, he said, what are you studying? Yeah, I'd like to answer the question. Yeah? The, the, the question was, why have they been so far apart? And so I'm saying perhaps instability and now, now we're okay. And that's all we've got. It, that, that's it. Yeah, thanks for coming to the socials. Keep coming to the socials. Follow Henry Davids. You'll see lots of <laughs> golf, okay? You want to exercise? Go yes. to, to Mackay and Guns. We're still trying to convince Mackenzie to get on the socials. He only gets there here, okay? Yeah, right. For now, ciao.